And hello, my beautiful friends. We are going to look at the love energy between you. Your energy will be here. Your person of interest energy will be here. We will look at your mutual energy and we will look at your outcome. And then we will pull oracle cards to see what else may clarify the state of affairs, love affairs that is. Please be sure to enter our contest. Subscribe, like, share, comment, give a thumbs up to the video. Okay, so in your energy, you feel as though you have to be on guard. That's a very strategic. You feel like you have to be strategic with this person. Right now, I do not think the two of you are speaking or you're not speaking to them. I'm getting nine of cups. You love this person. You feel as though they're very much uh, your happiness. Uh, that's eat, drink, be merry. This is also a card of wish fulfillment. When we draw that card in a reading, you, uh, the thought or the, the history behind that card in the tarot is that your wish will be granted. Okay, the devil card is reversed. I like that as a reversed energy. Something that felt very chaotic in the relationship is now um, not functioning. So some sort of toxicity is out, certainly out of your energy. So let's see what we have here. Five of Swords, it looks as though the two of you have had a fight or you're having a fight. Very difficult energy. You feel as though this person's really hurt you. You do love them though. The Five of Swords can be a very bitter breakup or a very bad argument. Okay, so let's see what the energy is for your person. What is the energy for Leo's person here? Their energy is, your person of interest may have gotten out of a relationship, but it also means they're trying to let go of something. And it appears that what they're trying to let go of is player energy. Okay. The hanged man says that they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. Okay. Your person has a lot of options. They see you as the person that they love, the Six of Cups. You may have known each other for a long time. The Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. For you, you love this person. There's a level of friendship here, and the Two of Swords is your person doesn't want to deal with anything right now. I'm getting them just in this mode of like, please, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't know, I don't want to deal with this, whatever you're mad about, I'm sorry I did it, I don't want to deal with it, I don't know what I can do. I feel as though there's a high likelihood that you saw some sort of communication with this person, that you might have seen a text message, you might have seen something, or a lot of activity. It looks like they might have been taking their phone in the bathroom, or they might have been hiding something. The Seven of Cups is usually a person who has a lot of choices, who doesn't necessarily make good choices. The overall energy between the two of you is the Eight of Swords. So you, the two of you are like in standoff mode. It looks like the two of you are not speaking, at least not dealing with the issue. Five of Coins, I would move that back to not speaking. The Hermit card, the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords, the Judgment card. Ugh, there's a lot of separation energy here. Okay. You feel Leo as, you, well, both of you feel as though you have to make a decision, that you're at a crossroads in the relationship and that you have to make a decision about the relationship. What is the outcome or information we need about this relationship at this time, Spirit? The outcome or information. Ooh, somebody's gonna come in. Good, somebody's making a move. Somebody's on the move, Leo. Somebody's on the move. This is Cancerian energy. I see all the signs out here. Let's see, I see air. I see, I don't see a lot of coin, but okay. So let's see what we have here. Eight, okay, so the two of you want to move on. So somebody's going to make a move here, Cancerian energy. And it is very likely to be your person. I feel as though it's unlikely to be you. I feel as though they come in very hot, 
very, you know, they really know what they want. They're going to go after it. The emperor is always the one who drives a chariot. This person wants to give up the burdens of the fighting. Let's see what we have. Another card for outcome, please. Yep, here we have Leo Energy. All right, so Leo Energy is the problem solver here on this situation. Let's look and see what the Lenormand Oracle says about, I'm not going to clarify every card, but I'm going to get an overall view of where the relationship is at with Lenormand. Okay, so what is the wisdom here? Even if it hurts, don't reject the truth, okay? Never reject the truth. The truth will set you free. Always watch out for others' plans. So I would say I would take that as a warning to watch what your person does. I think you've already done that, though. And it says, don't run ahead, wait patiently. Well, you are. Okay, so you are taking the advice. So let's go ahead and clarify these confusing cards and see what energy we have here for you in terms of this relationship. What? Why is the Seven of Swords card here for our beautiful Leo friends? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? You're just working on yourself. You know, you're letting this person deal with their stuff. You're very alert. Like I would say you probably look at your phone a lot when you're working, but for the most part, you're just being very stealthy in terms of sort of letting them figure out their issue or their part of this. And then when they figure their own actions, reactions, whatever, when they make a decision, when they release toxic energy, you will be in on it. But right now you think that they are a lightweight in love. The fact that they are not contacting you makes you feel as though when pigs fly, you will contact them. So I'm seeing you very, very deep in your decision not to contact them. The Nine of Cups, aww. You do want to get back together with this person. The temperance card is beautiful energy. It's Sagittarius energy. This is Pisces energy. It just says that this person makes you very happy. You are divinely protected because temperance always has a guardian angel here. The devil card, you feel as though this person is very romantic. You feel as though you don't always know that you feel as though those romantic gestures are sincerely love. Throwing caution to the winds, so that's good news. I like the fact that, you know, throwing caution to the winds right now and telling somebody what you think you need to tell them in a very nice way. You know, being very diplomatic, being upbeat, you know, not assuming anything negative here is how you should speak to this person. Look at this. The Two of Cups is a Bride and Groom card in the Rider Waite, and now we have the Hierophant card, which is a traditional relationship of marriage. It can also indicate a long-term relationship of any sort. This flew out, stuck with it, so I like that energy. You know, it really tells me what you want from this relationship, so you bring a lot of stability and a lot of beautiful energy, a lot of love, a lot of deep expectation to this relationship in a way that says that you definitely want to make it work, you know? But this energy right here, let's take a look at your mutual energy. What is, why is the mutual energy so stressed? Yep, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, because this person is confused and or childish. They throw caution to the wind for the wrong reasons that starts arguments, okay. Why do we have the Five of Coins? Why do you both feel left in the cold? You love each other. Ooh, that is a heavy duty card of love. The Queen of Cups is very emotional. She's not strategic. She's all in her feels. The Nine of Cups is all in your feels. So you're very emotional, but both of you together are really, it's brutal for the two of you to be alone. And yet, look at this, this is so interesting. When we look at this Five of Coins, it's a spiritual card. The reason it's a spiritual card is the key is here, the lock is there, 
the door can be opened if you take the right actions. If you simply stop feeling sorry for yourself, quote unquote, no shade, just what the card means. But if you look up, bring your head up and you look, you can see the solution to the problem. You love each other very deeply. You're very much in your feels. You're probably maybe even a little too emotional with each other. But, you know, hey, I like to have feelings. And the Two of Wands says that you have to make a choice to give up the burdens that you've been fighting over. And you either, you're on, you're on a path, it's now or never. Basically, it's now or never. Either you come together or you don't, and that's your mutual energy. If you don't come together at this time, the two of you will part ways. All right, why is a judgment card here? All right, so your person loves you very much. They haven't told you. The King of Cups is energy of Scorpio King. This is a Cancer and Queen energy, which you both possess for each other. But what it tells me is that your person never really tells you that they love you. Uh, they leave you feeling really confused. They love you unconditionally, and they will love you forever. That's the Scorpio King, the favorite uncle, the favorite brother. Look at this. Nine of Wands energy is really interesting. What this tells me when we get the Nine of Cups is that whatever fears that you have, your person may be very flirty, but your wish comes true in terms of them wanting to have the relationship set right again. Why is that? Why is a player card here? They love you. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that this is not the player card. What has happened is it's transcended. The love that you have, the love that this person has for you with the Ten of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment, is that they feel very passionate about you because they love you. And their behavior may seem like player energy, but it is not. Okay. So that's beautiful. Sometimes you think, oh my gosh, if they do this with everybody, every woman, every person would want to have a relationship with them. Okay, the hanged man says that your person really needs stability. That's a Taurus king. That's the card of the daddy, the husband, the loyal person. The seven of cups, why did it come up here twice? Why is it here? Eight of wands, okay. So what I'm getting is that your person is very passionate but they love you. Again, I feel as though you saw something in their text messaging that makes you feel as though they flirt with other people. Let's see if that's accurate. I don't think this is accurate. I don't think that they would have actually stepped out on you or done anything. And the reason I say that is that your person really feels that you are the love of their life the star card. You're the rock star in their life. There is nobody like you. Does this person have a lot of options because they're attractive to people? Yes. Uh, it's a person who probably has developed some sort of wealth or abundance. It's a person who comes across as a very strong human being. And I feel as though you may even feel this person gets stalked. Um, Tell us about the Six of Cups because they love you again. They want reconciliation. They see you, Leo. There you are, the Aries Queen. They want you back in their lives. They think that you are absolutely amazing. They want the relationship. They see you as fiery and beautiful, Leo, and you are. They want, they feel as though you're magical. Look at, she has a wand and she has a spark there that she created. They, they want you. You've been in this relationship a while with the Six of Cups, so they do want a reconciliation. Temperance is reconciliation. This is actually a reunion card. All right. This person wants to release any doubt that you have or they have about your relationship with them. They want to release the stress that's coming with an argument. We see the argument here. We see the need to release something here. So this person needs to release their feelings so that you can feel happy and feel their love instead of thinking that they're a player. Here we see you throwing caution to your winds, willing <laughs> caution to the wind, 
because you want to get rid of this energy and so do they the ace of wands i like it it's really good energy so it looks as though a situation got really blown up here okay so why is a chariot card here your person's looking and trying oh i think they drive by your house they're doing reconnaissance all right why else is a chariot card here the strength card oh there you go leo there you are in the reading the infinity symbol says that your relationship is very powerful it's very strong it's going to withstand this fight or argument or situation it looks like a really tough argument though your person's going to rush in to stop you from leaving okay they're going to make you a substantial offer when we get the three of cups next to the ace of coins you could get the offer of engagement and this person is going to take action for the purpose of diminishing all that is confusing this relationship is making both of you feel very vulnerable very nervous very sad very depressed and it doesn't need to your person's coming in with a substantial offer when we get the ace of coins with the three of cups that's the engagement set so let's look and see what spirit is going to tell you about the relationship your advice is hold space oh beautiful that's a nice confirmation be graceful in movement and action so, you know, just be really kind to your person when they come back. Exchange energy to create abundance. Beautiful. <laughs> That's Ten of Coins energy. See from a higher perspective. So your person's looking at things from here. You know, the hanged man from a higher perspective. And you're looking at things from the higher perspective of the hermit. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. It's been a joy being with you today. I hope you enjoy the extended. And don't forget to enter the contest. All the information's in the description box. Please like. Please share. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Namaste, my friends.